it's just for kicks because it's good to go back to. Um, so this is a play test. Um, I mean, I don't know where Isaac is because he's a bum. He might show up, in which case I'll just be like, you're a scrum butt. Hmm. Um, yeah, so let's pretend. Let's just, we're still in, um, that town there. Uh... Aquila, right? That's where we were. And, um, the Kyferi, you're just like, um, you wake up, Teddy is missing, because that's kind of what Teddy does. I didn't even do the intro to this, I don't even care. Um, so you, um, you wander up to, uh, the Druid Guild where you, um, had met Faloran, and, um, you kind of, like, you guys were just trying to, like, connect, because, you know, you gotta do a thing, and it's good to know the person you're going on, venturing with, and, um, Faloran kind of mentions that there's, um, a guild quest to, um, hunt down a harpy in the woods just north of the city, and, uh, just like, hey, I, I don't know if you guys have time, but if you, if you want to, you know, do a quest to try some stuff out, I would not, um, be opposed. I think that sounds like fun. I mean, it sounds like something. Um, <laughs> True. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just, um, she leads you through a path in the, through the Dru Druid's Guild, like, north, and it goes, um up into the woods so you're just like on this random -y, rando you're on a rando path let's let's just what can i give you bum, bum, bum. i'm not i'm at the free one so oh like okay Controlled by Capula. No, I don't. <laughs> you said we were hunting harpies? Or a harpy? Yeah, a harpy. Nice. And let's see if I get another one that I can use. No, I'm not having problems. No, I'm using the world twenty. Okay. And can I do some drawing? Were you just talking to yourself? I was talking to my husband, who was talking to oh. me, but it might have sounded like I was talking to myself. It, it, no, it definitely did. I mean, that's also possible. Um, no, I don't. Silas is kind of being a jerk face. Um, so, Florence like, uh, I kind of, I mean, I only half know this area. Um, it seems like we have to go up this, um, follow this here path. is horrible. Oh well. Anyway, she leads you. Um, you guys start going through the the woods.
um, do you, um, you just walk in? Like, what are you doing? I want to stealth. <laughs> All right. Or, or attempt to, because woods. Uh, I got a six. Ooh. She got... She got a ten. So, like, you guys are trying to stealth, but, like, there's a bunch of, like, leaves and, um, twigs and stuff on the ground, and so you're, you're just, every time you step, you're just like, oh, crap, that's not what I meant. Um, so you're a little bit, uh, noisy, I would say. She's just like, this land is not really my strong suit, but not to say that I, I don't have any strengths, I, I definitely, um, very capable in what I'm doing. I just not really a land walker. That's fine. Now I I haven't spent a lot of time in these um, woods, but it, it does uh, there are other creatures that we might encounter, so hopefully um, that's not a problem. No, no, we've come across many creatures in our travels, so getting attacked by random creatures in the woods isn't abnormal for us. Oh, okay, good. Sure. We'll go with good. <laughs> right? I mean, it's a thing. Um, let's reset this. Um, so, you, um, why don't you roll a perception? Oh boy. Because I rolled real well with stealth. Oh, actually. 22. Wow, she had like a. Wait, she had a 19, but then. She had a 22 as well. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Um, so you look ahead and. Hold on. I need environment. We're going to. Hold on, I'm waiting. Just wait for it. Um, I'm just. I'm waiting for it. Right, I'm trying to decide what to give you. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Let's go with an owl bear. You see an owl bear up ahead. Oh, you. oh boy, that only almost killed Arenari and I. Did manage to kill a horse. I mean, it's it's a good like um How far? I'll say right now it's it's pretty far away. It's like sixty feet away. Okay. Um I wanna take out the dagger of venom and um use whatever time I have before we potentially get beaten up by an owl bear to cause thick black poison to coat the blade because the poison really remains for a minute. Oh, okay. Um, and the owl bear hasn't seen you yet. It's busy. It's doing some other stuff. 
it's you know living the dream <laughs> yeah like i'm not gonna attack it quite yet but i want to be ready right that's fair um oh shay See what good walls and yep, I'll die. Okay, looking for has two side when it currently well I'm also just gonna give her like no no all right she will need a 60 heat oh she's a she um uh, let's see oh let's roll um just for kicks, so we kind of know what we're doing. Let's roll um, initiative. I rolled an unnatural 20. Wow. Landed on a 19 and I get plus one. <laughs> Hold on, my books are over on the side. Oh boy. He got a 20. Florin has a 12. And the owl bear, I don't know if he gets any bonus. Owl bear got a five. But he's not seen you, so you're technically not in. You guys are still out of uh not in initiative yet. Um I do you wanna fight it or do you wanna try to sneak around it? Do you have a preference? I don't really have a preference either way. I mean we weren't terribly sneaky earlier. We could try again if you really want. I mean, I'm, I don't think I have any good uh, spells for being friendly to animals right now that are prepared. Um, I can't be super. St I, I, I mean, let's just see what happens if we stealth. I guess. Okay. I got a nineteen this time. Oh, she got a nine. I mean, I don't think she gets a <laughs> bonus. Great. Yeah. So, uh, you manage to kind of like hide in the side, and like she just she steps on a, a little branch. Um. So you're hidden, but the owlbear does see her. Um, so 
Um, Which one am I? Am I the, the one on the left of the line? You're the one on the left. She's the one with the gray hair, even though she doesn't really have gray hair, but... So, um... Yes, Tessa, I am playing a game right now. So, I'm going first? You or... go first, and you are, um, the owlbear does not see you. Alright, I'm gonna move up. Stealth up just a little bit. And oh, why not? I am going to throw the dagger of venom at it. All right. Eleven. Um. I feel like that's not going. Eleven do. does not hit. Okay. Um. But I can use my. Bonus action to throw another blade. So I'm going to throw my other dagger at it, or rather try to. Thirteen? <laughs> Thirteen hits. It hits? It just hits. Wow. This is a fair. What do you <laughs> Two damage. Whoa. Okay, it's my turn. Alright, um. Lauren's like, uh. I think I can. Well. She um she uses her movement, which is um thirty feet. Oh, she's not quite all right. She's not quite close enough to do a thing. Oh, she seems like a waste. Um. Oh, what's this one? Wait for it. It might be good. Only might be. Oh, yeah. Okay. She, um, she doesn't move. Instead, instead, I'm gonna move her back. But she can do it pretty far. She's gonna cast, um, fog cloud so it's a 20 foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point in range and so if she does that it's like one two Now the bear, the owl bear, is in fog, and then 
she will use her movement to, let's just say, move. She moves to your, she ain't so big mass. She moves closer to you um, and kind of like points towards like, let's, let's uh, sneak off to the side, off trail. Now it's the owlbear's turn. To say I have to get my daggers though. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, the owlbear has like 40 feet of movement. So. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, he's he's way up there. And now he's annoyed because Oh. No. Let's just let's try this. Okay, but he's a little bit confused and so he hasn't quite found you yet. So he kind of knows generally where you are because of the, all the stuff, but he hasn't um because you stealth. Um and then she Florin kind of moved to the side. It is your turn. Okay, I'm going... Well, he's right in front of me now, so... He's gonna see me probably next turn anyways. I'm gonna take out my short sword, and I'm going to try to attack him with it. Okay. That fell off the table. Twenty-six to hit. That hits. And six points of damage. All right. Um. All right. This is better now because now Florin can use her wild shape and shape into a giant croc. I think it's a giant crocodile. It's a crocodile, at the very least. Crocodile. She's a crocodile. And then, she's gonna crocodile attack him. How do I tell how many hit points that puppy has? Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. I'm a cry. Oh, hit points, 19. Okay, all right, it's good to know. Okay, so she's going to try a bite. Oh, she did 18 plus 4. I think that hits. So the damage is 1d10 plus 2. She got 10 plus 2. I think that's 12. Yay, Sarah can do math. Yep. And. Oh, okay. Then um, this guy has to do. Uh... Oh, and he's. He fails his save. The owlbear fails his save. So he's grappled. And restrained. And I believe that before he can... Do anything, he has to try to break the grapple.
think he gets to roll and see if he breaks it. Because uh, it's his turn now. 11. strength which is five so I'm gonna say he breaks the grapple but that was his move so now he's just really annoyed that he can't do anything uh, it's your turn Kaifira okay I am going to attack with the short sword again okay Sixteen to hit. That is. Six damage. Then I'm also going to use a bon my bonus action to uh, flame blade. I'm Whoa. Going to him with with flame blade. Uh, oh, wait. Fourteen. That does Barely. <laughs> I was gonna be sad for a second. <laughs> 15 damage. Wow. All right. Mm, she's still a crocodile. So she's going to bite him again. She still, she hits. She doesn't get as good a grip though. So it's only like three points. And then he doesn't get grappled because he's like, he knew it was coming. And I think because she, uh, Florin bit him, he's going to go for her. So. Ooh. Let me just do, I'm just going to write this down. So he's got 16 with his beak. And then, ooh, three with his claw. And so, I'm pretty sure that the claw doesn't hit, but the beak does. Because her AC is not that great. Oh, no, but it's the... It's 12. Okay. So. And he's at 19. So, that beak attack... There's 1d10 plus 5. 9. So that's 14. Okay. Um, That's the owlbear's turn. I'm Back going to, to use the short sword again. Okay. Eleven isn't gonna hit. Nope. Um, but I do have my bonus action with flame blade. All right. Thing, and the duration is concentration of up to ten minutes. By the way, um, let's see if this works. Any seventeen. Mm-hmm. Fifteen again. Oh, he falls. He falls? Yeah, he said it's dead. Yay! Yay! To totally worth burning my second level spells. <laughs> I mean, you know. Um, oh, and she's used her, uh, wow, one of her wild shapes. Uh, so she un un wild shapes. Well, that was that was interesting. Um, definitely, you know, definitely an adventure. If that's what we're going for. Um, <laughs> that it is. But before we continue too much farther, I need to pick up my daggers. Okay. Yeah. Is there still fog? 
Um, she dissipates the fog. Well, I don't know how long it lasts. Okay. I wonder if she but can dissipate to... it or if. Yes. Oh, one hour. Oh. Um, Till four. wind of moderate or greater speed. No, that's just sound. I'm gonna make finding daggers oh, a little. She laughs. She's like, "Don't, don't worry." Um, and she does gust of wind. Fair enough. That is. Useful. Can I go to blow it away? Look, look for my daggers. All right. Uh, perception. Oh no! Investigation. Sixteen. Okay, you find them. <laughs> They're just lying there on the road. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Okay. So, you keep going, I'm assuming. Are you going to stealth, or are you just going to walk? Um, I'll try to stealth again. Alright. I got an 8 this time. She got a 12, so... <laughs> She's a little more stealth. A little bit, but still not great. Um... I'm just trying to, you know, come up with a good... I probably should get like a monster manual. You don't have one? No, I just use um Cobalt Fight Club. Then yes, you probably should get a monster manual. Is there something specific you're looking for? Um, uh, I'm just I'm just trying to find like what would be a fun encounter because I'm twisted. We knew that, right? I mean, trying you know, we're some different. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I think I might have found it. I think I might have found I'm gonna go back to this because it feels like Okay. 
Okay, here's, uh, you come to, uh, a fork in the road. What do you do? Well, which, which way do you think we should go? Um, which way should we go? Uh, did the details of the job mention a way to get to said harpies? Or yeah, said follow the path. Sounds about right. I mean, we could just pick up the fork. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't... The Do fork in the road. Fork in the... Okay. Yeah, no, no, I got, I got the joke. Um, I, so, um, from what I've heard, it's, it's less about, um, what's the word I want to say? It doesn't technically matter if we go, they all lead, which is the different path to the, to the top of the mountain. So it's more personal preference is what I've kind of been told. And do you have a personal preference? Um, no. Shall we go to the right then? Let's go to the right. Okay, so, we go right. I'd like to re try, try to stealth though. Okay, yeah, let's definitely. Oh, she got a Oh, that's 20. so much better. 16. She got an offer 20. <laughs> so, y'all are like so stealthy. Tessa, I see you over there. She's very cranky. Um, well, yes, it's getting late for little birdies. Well, see, earlier she was being a dick, and she was trying to bite me, and so she had to have time out in her cage, and she was not very happy because I closed all the doors. And right. That pissed and her then ignored her existence. Yeah. A lot. So I think now she's kind of avoiding going back to the cage <clears throat> because she doesn't want to get closed in. I think that's what it is because she's over at her place at still. She's like, I'm right. just going to sit over here. And she doesn't usually get nippy like that, does she? She was just being a crabby little bird. She was just, she's not, like, this was, like, super nippy. Like, sometimes, like, she'll be, like, a little nippy. This was, like, rawr, rawr, rawr. and I was, like, that's that's enough of that. Like, that's yeah. too much, too much nippy. You need to stop. So, right. um, all right, you two are, are stealthing. And um, up ahead, you notice a, a lake. A lovely little Tessa. Yes, I'm talking yes. about you. <laughs> That's okay. Q got upset with me today. I had, there was an empty tissue box he's been playing with when he's been on the floor. I used that as part of the wrapping for Richard's birthday present. Oh. And when he noticed what I was doing, he like yelled at me about it. <laughs> like, sorry, you have another tissue box down here. It's fine. Yeah, you 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 are you are not being abused right now. Um, I even bought her new toys, and then she was annoyed about those. Yes, I am talking about you. Well, yeah, because Neely's bird-eating monster. What? What? Are you going to go home? Are you going to go home? Well, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, it is bedtime. She's like, you're supposed to move me, Mom. Even though we've totally watched her several times move herself Oh, yeah, to even though house. she is extremely confident at moving. <laughs> Are you going to say hi to Janelle? Right? Oh, oh, oh. That was a dick. Yeah, you're up there. 
What? What are you going to do? What? I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you're right there. <laughs> what? I, Janelle can't see you because you're not... What? What? Why are you giving me the look? Why do I have the look? Why? Seriously? <laughs> She's like, what are you doing, Mom? Why, Why am I... I here now? What? What? I... What? I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you can go to your cage if you want. I don't care. You gonna poop everywhere? Well, yes. Yes, I am. Did you should not tell Janelle how you played with paper earlier. Oh, did she chewing up the newspaper? Yeah. That's a fun birdie play, right? play thing. Say daddy uh, was freaked out because I was playing with paper, but... <laughs> he was a little bit freaked out. Yes, he was. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Has she, has she played with puzzle pieces with you yet? Yes, yeah, she has done puzzle pieces. Does she grab them and fly away, or does she just she take just them out of the them. already put together? Yes, that's what she does. Because my cockatiel that I had before I had Q, she would take them out of already like out of the already put together puzzle, but she would also take a single puzzle piece that I had laid out and run. Yeah. And I'm like. Cockatiels are actually quite quick when they want to be. Oh, yeah, no, she's kind of a goofball. But, yes, I'm talking about you. She also did not fly to her cage, FYI. I was going to say, she totally went back to the place, Dan. Oh, she did. And she's yelling at her. She's like, ha, I'm not going there tonight. Ha ha, can't catch me. And I'm like, okay, stay out, I don't care. Um, all right, so you see up ahead a body of water. Okay. Do we see a continuation of the trail anywhere? Yeah, no, there's definitely the trail keeps going, oh, okay. but it like passes by. You notice that it's going to pass by. Uh, but actually, even to make it even more fun. Oh boy. Let's say. God, someone is noisy. Well, that's good. Baby birds are supposed to be noisy. Oh, she just went to bed. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about your life. Go to bed. Um, it's actually it's so it's like the um it's like a bridge kind of like a bridge partially like a little like some sand duny thing um that splits up this big huge lake up ahead it'd be more fun maybe it's a barge you have to take actually maybe it's just that you have to travel over the water okay well which is it because either way we have to go that way fuck i like that better hold on <laughs> great Oh, she went to bed. All right, good. Um, yeah, no, this is great because she's with Triton, so it's a good, good things I can test out. So you're just going to be like, I'm good. we're going to have this, and then you're going to be like, wait, I want to try this thing. <laughs> something, kind of something like that, sort of, kind of. Um, all right, so... You uh, come across this huge, you notice there's a big, huge lake. And there's no, like, visible path across. There is maybe, I'll say there's a little, like, raft there if you want to take the raft. It's like you gotta move it yourself. Right. I mean, I can turn into a crab, so I can swim across... 
I don't know if you have any such abilities. I mean, I would assume you do, but, you know. Are you... Uh, perhaps you, you just don't actually understand what a triton is. Um, actually, um, we're water people. Right. Don't. Fair. I've said dumb things. <laughs> <laughs> Usually due to Teddy being around, but you know. That's fair. Oh, all three spells can be used once per long rest. Oh, that, that's horrible. I think, yeah, she can just swim. She's just like, all right, I'll just swim. I don't care. Okay. I mean, I'm going to be a crab just to make my life a little easier. You are a crab. Thanks. Love you, too. You love me the most. <laughs> All right, uh, in the water, roll perception. Ten. Whoa, um, okay, um. You don't notice anything. You notice nothing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Except. Um, all of a sudden. What's your AC? You're on mute. Sorry, I thought I just unmuted. 15? Oh, no. 15, 16, 17, 17. Um, you feel something, like, hit you. And... Um... I'm gonna find the right dice. You take 17 points of damage. Like, well? Yeah, no, it's just it's a little bit of a piece. I revert back to Kyphira. Oh, wow. Because Crab only has like 13 hit points. So 13 and how many was it? He rolled really well. Um, 17. So I take 4 damage then. On top um, of okay, and you're grappled. Good. Good. Um, so roll, um, no, maybe on your turn, we would roll the. What am I being held by? The thing is, it's invisible. Oh, even Can't better. not see anything. But also roll initiative. Eleven. And uh, that was his sneak attack. So now, um, it. Tries to pull you under the water. And so now 
uh, you're relying. What's your constitution? Uh, oh goodness, 12. Sometimes the internet sucks. Okay, oh, okay. After one, plus what's your constitution bonus? Uh, one, plus one. Okay, so you have two minutes you can breathe underwater, so that's like 12 rounds, FYI. Um, so it starts to pull you under. Um, it's... Now your turn. You're gonna have to break. You're gonna have to attempt to break the grapple. Okay, and what would that be to break the grapple? Oh, um, yeah. What am I using? Hold on, I'm looking. Um, strength or. Dexterity. It's the same modifier either way. Oh, okay. Ah, that rolled off the table. Oh, oh, you're athletics, technically. Yeah, no, that's all the same. Okay. Um, so that's a natural one. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a solid no. That dice is immediately in dice jail. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. I don't know if I want to try that or I really didn't give her good attack spells why I don't know because I'm a dork and I, I This is why it's good that we're doing this. Okay. She's like, oh, I'll just use my second because those are always regenerative. We could take a short rest. So she turns into a reef shark. And she goes over and uh, she, oh, oh no, you're kind of incapacitated. Okay, she tries to bite it. In fact, she can't see things under invisible though. Oh no, 
but it has blind sight. What's blind sight? This is why this is good. Blindside means she can kind of see things that you can't see. Like she can sense them, which is perfect. So. You know, the crab has that too. Not that it matters anymore because ow. <laughs> All right. That's a 19 plus four. Pretty sure that hits because I don't know what that thing's got, but. That hits. So 1d8 plus 2. Where are my d8s? Big money no wins. Oh, yes. She got 8 plus 2, which is 10. And then, if something is attacked... I don't know if that breaks the grapple. Or maybe he has to, maybe the monster has to rule like a. <laughs> Grappling. Oh, okay. No. Uh, it doesn't break the grapple. It just kind of takes some damage. So it's like, Argh! but it still has you. So it's gonna keep trying to drown you because that's his action is like drowning Kythera. It's pretty fun. Right. So, um, I think at your turn you can try to break the grapple again. Is it my turn or the monsters? The monsters' turn was trying to drown me. Drowning some more. you, continuing to drown you. Eleven. Um. Nope. You're still okay. Yep. Being drowned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Reef Shark, totally, totally killing it right now. 17, yeah, plus the pluses is fine. Seven, so it's like 
59. That, that reef shark bites again and like this invisible monster is like but still trying to drown you that's its turn trying to drown you and maybe trying to like move you away a little bit um, your turn alright I'll try to break the grapple again Seven? Wait. No, sorry, ten. But that doesn't. Nope. Doesn't do anything. Yeah. So reef shark. Oh, yep. Still, still battling the reef sharks. Just like it's doing great. Another eight. That's another. It's another. And that's 10, and that's 29. Okay, yeah. Like, the reef shark is, like, going to town. But you, like, and I'm not even gonna have it move, because, like, every time it moves, the reef shark would just follow it, and, like, those things are 60 feet for that guy, and, no, I don't need you. I don't know where it's going right now. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, the monster would be a little bit ahead, but I'm just... I'm going to say because it's grappling, I mean, it will be more. So, um, it's your turn. Okay. Um... Where did I put the back? Oh, there it is. I'm going to try to break the grapple. Mm-hmm. 16. That does actually break the grapple. Whoa. Yay! And... Um, do I still have my bonus action? Or what does break Yeah, the movement grapple? and a bonus action. Movement and bonus action. I am going to use my wild shape again and become a crab again. And it's going to be that. Because I feel like if that uh, actually, hold on. Maybe I'm not going to do that in that order. Look up something real quick. Ow. I'm going to stay where I am. Yeah, I'm going to stay where I am, because I'm just going to assume that if I try to move, it's going to try to move. It'll get an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Nothing hurt. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so, Reef Shark. Still doing great. Not as powerful. And now the Water Weird is what it is. It was like annoyed at this reef shark and you've kind of gotten out and it's like, wait a minute. So it's going after Thorin. Oh, 18. Nope, 16. Still hits her though. Plus five. Is it still invisible or can we see it now? No. It's fully immersed in the water so it's invisible. Alright, and oh yeah, and uh, it's grappled. The shark or the thing? The reef shark shark. 
being grappled. Oh, Who? wait, wait, wait. Yes, the the water weird attacked the reef shark, and the reef shark is now grappled, which is Falora. But right, but I can't see the creature like I. You like can't I see can't. it. You don't have um. Blind sight. No, I don't. It's Kyphera. Oh, right. you're Kyphera, right? Yeah, Kyphera does not. Crab does. Um. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, so you can attack it, it would be, uh, so you can see the reef shark, um, but you probably would be at disadvantage. Right, um, I'm looking at the thing real quick. Alright, um, well, uh, I'd like to cast fairy fire. All right. Uh, well, let me ask a question. It is concentration of up to a minute. If I cast fairy fire and then turn into a crab, is that going to maintain my concentration or would that, that would break it? Hold on. I don't think it does. Wild shape then, isn't a concentration. Well, Actually, no, 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 never mind. Um, okay, Wild Shape, just FYI, doesn't break your concentration on a spell you've already cast. Okay. So I'm going to cast Fairy Fire centered on the shark. Okay. Um, so you need to make a dex save of at least 13. If you, if you fail the deck save, you're outlined in light. Eleven. You do not pass that. All right. So then, um, where'd the thing go? I had the things up, but then I had to go back for very far. I'm going to use my action sir. Well, how far away from I, am I from? Did you swim away? No, I just stayed close. Then you're in range. Okay, I'm then going to take my action surge and I would like to attack with a dagger. Okay. Twenty-three to hit. That hits. Four damage. Okay. Um. Yeah. And then, because Kyphira cannot breathe while well, breathe underwater birds, um, I'm going to wild shape into a giant crab as my bonus action. Okay. Um, the reef shark can still attack. You can still attack while you're grappled. And... Oh, wait. <laughs> can you... What is the difference between you're grappled and restrained? Oh. Just, oh, okay. Attack rolls against um, a restrained creature. 
have advantage and it's just disadvantage. Um, so that's I'm gonna roll two at the same time so it'll be easier for me to tell. Um, still hits so that's lovely. And seven. Oh, okay. Um, the water weird. This is a, this is this is why we play this game so bad because I'm horrible. Seriously. Nah. Damage resisted and killed. Stupid. Although in some ways, that's okay. Okay. Um. I'm gonna say the water weird is just trying to keep drowning this shark. It's your turn. It's trying to drown the shark. Uh huh. Okay. I know. This. Well, it's a creature. It's just trying to drown this creature. Okay. I'm going to use a claw attack. Um, a what? Claw. Oh, right. I'm a, sh I'm a crab. Mm hmm. Not a little spider on a ceiling, just a crab. Five. That does not hit. No, it doesn't. Um. And. Um, yeah. Deep shark. Oh, nine. And then plus. Oh, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, still hits. Awesome. Neat. Reef Shark is really starting to uh, feel bad, although it shouldn't be because I should be a. Should, it's technically resistant to these sneeze attacks. That's okay. Okay. Gonna attack it with my claw. Okay. Or, well, try to, depending on how this goes. 22. That hits. 3 damage. Oh my gosh. Right? Um, I'm gonna say that it tries to attack. Lauren. Oh, 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 the target is grappled. Sorry. Um, except for it's immune to being grappled. Ah! I wonder if the reef shark is immune. What does that immune to? Ruin my fun. Um, okay, so it hits Florin, which is a reef shark, and 3d6. Two, four, six. Um, I meant nine. Nine is nine. Oh, nine is 
She's still in the game. She's going to go for one. Uh, seven. I mean, that's good. I'd hate to have to recruit a different druid next week. Right. Or seven. build a different character oh, next, she for misses. next week. So it's your turn again. Okay, I'm going to try to attack with the claw again. Okay. An unnatural 20. All right, that does hit. Six. Yeah, okay. It all of a sudden, this monster, like, fades and, like, falls into the water and lets go of Valoran. And she drops her wild shape and she's like, that was, that was a thing. That was definitely a thing. Uh. I just kind of blink at her. Mm. I'm a crab. Right. Uh, you wanna, let's, <laughs> we'll go to shore. Just gonna go. <laughs> yeah, let's. Uh, so you swim to the other side of the, um, lake. Mm-hmm. And you get out, I'm assuming. She just mm -hmm. walks out. Are you staying a crab? No, I'm gonna come out of my crab form now. Oh, okay. That was that was an adventure. Um, With that it was. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully, uh, this isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. Have you used all of your wild shapes yet? I did. As did I. Do you want to take a short rest? Might be a thing we should. Maybe do. get some snacks out. Do you have snacks? Somewhere. Uh, yeah, alright. I mean... I don't remember what I put in here for auto Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so she... Y'all take a short rest. I'm using one of my hit die, by the way, and that restores me to full health. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. I wish I had known. I mean, I wasn't very hurt anyways, but I figured yeah. I should heal. That's fair. That's fair. Um, so you guys all wait like an hour. I guess after the rest, we'll continue on our way. All right. Yes. Ah! Everyone's dead! <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And then I saw the screen. I don't know what that... I don't know that I can undo it. We're just dead. We're just dead. New characters next week, everybody. Everyone. Start fresh. Next week, Sarah, we should totally start out like both characters died. Right, and just be like, Just oh. to mess with Isaac. That'd be fun. Just be like, oh yeah, you have this new camp new party member. Right. He'd be like, what? <laughs> Twenty is sometimes kind of a day. Fair enough. I don't know which page you're on. I don't know which page I'm on.
So, y'all are just, uh, walking along. Should probably be stealthing, actually. I'd like to try to stealth. Alright. Oh, she does not really stealth, so I'm just... I got a 15. She got a 5. <laughs> We're rolling so well tonight. <laughs> it kind of just depends on the thing, but yeah, I don't... So you kind of come across this like dense foresty type thing. I mean, some of the trees are so creepy. And some of them are like, eh. I like this one that kind of looks like it's half fallen over. Right? <laughs> like, I'm trying really hard to treat, I promise. And... Um, so roll perception. Oh. Yeah. Hold on, that fell off the table and that is a 16. She has a natural 20. So. Nice. Um, Lauren is like, uh, I don't, it's, it's, it's up there quite a bit, but. I think I see the heartbeat. It's about 65 feet away. And okay. she kind of points it out to you and, and you're able to also see it as well. And we're supposed to kill it, right? Yeah, I, I, it's kind of a dick. <laughs> That's what I've been told. Fair. Um. I'm stealthed, right? You are stealthed. Uh, like, I'm gonna go up next to this tree. Where is it? Gotta find the thing. <laughs> um, I would like to take a dead eye shot with my pistol. So I'll spend a grip point to attack it. I'm assuming it hasn't seen us yet. It has not seen you yet. Okay. Um, I'm just get. I gotta pull up some good stats. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me know whenever you're ready for me to. Your mom's not even ready. Wow. I know. Okay, so I'm ready. So I'm gonna attack 
with my pistol. Mm -hmm. I spend, I'm spending a grip point for a uh, dead eye shot, which gives me advantage. Mm -hmm. The first one would be an unnatural 20, just for curiosity's sake. I want to see what the second one was. Okay. We're going to go with the unnatural 20 because the other one's a 14. Okay. And then. Five points of damage. Do I get any? Would that be like a sneak attack? Would yeah. Get anything for that? Do you? I don't. I don't think I would. I think it's only. It's a rogue thing. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, that's gonna be my turn. Okay. So, uh, wait, 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 she's not the super, okay, I know what she's going to do as an action. I'm just checking to make sure she's not going to lose anything cool. She's going to cast Bark Skin on herself. Don't worry, our AC is 16 now. And she's going to I don't think her weapon attack was quick or that far. So she's gonna try to sneak forward a little bit. And then she can do her spear. But she will use one of her psionic her side points that are I don't understand this side point thing here, so it's kinda this is the part where it's Strange semblance of sentience. Align is earn early from its mark.
Oh, okay, wait, she's gonna throw it. Okay, I'm gonna throw this. Oh, she throws an eight. But then... She's just gonna miss, because it seems dumb. Well, no, because... Uh, as a reaction, when you miss with a ranged weapon attack, you can repeat the attack roll against the same target, so I guess we're gonna do it. I forget. And it was worse! So she just spent her two for nothing. Okay. Um. Oh, but she's got more. I guess. Now the harpy knows that, that you're there, though. Which is a problem. Because. The harpy starts to sing. Well then. And you have to succeed on a DC 11. Eight. Um, wisdom uh. save. Oh, she just barely saves. Uh, well then. What? Well then. Well then. Got thing. Would this no that'd be a save. Wisdom? Yeah. Thirteen. Okay, we're good. Alright, alright, alright. Good, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> so it starts to sing and then it flies towards you. And it gets forty feet of flying. Is that you? Oh, that is. Yeah, because I had moved up just a little bit. Mm. I could have hit it from back where we were, but I wanted to make sure. Oh, yeah, that was good. I should probably feel the regret of that right now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I already feel the regret of that right now, just so you know. <laughs> Oh, once you save, you're immune for 24 hours, so we don't have to roll this one again. So, Woo. okay. So, gonna hit you with its claws. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, wait, wait. I have the Cloak of Displacement, which I would have attuned, you know, over the night. Because I, you know. So... You have a disadvantage on attack rolls. Yeah, she still rolls a 10. That was still lower. What's your AC? Yes. 12. Okay, well, she misses. She missed. Yay! And then, <laughs> but then, she goes after you with her club. Of course. And that's 14. Still with disadvantage. Oh. Yeah, I rolled with disadvantage. Oh, okay. And it was a what? 14? 14. You know, that hits. Um, so... That's, uh... It's two damage. Okay, thank you. Oh, and we should actually roll initiative, because I don't think we did. We're bad people. I rolled an eight. All right, we'll start at the top. So that's for Lauren. Um, Brandon's trying to injure me. Brandon, behave. We still need. Sarah says, "Brandon, behave." We still need friend Janelle. And she still needs friend Janelle. 
why. Yes, why? Why? Because <laughs> um, friend Janelle and I talk about things like how work is crazy and we share Snapchats. And unless Brandon's going to start Snapchatting me, he's going to have to leave friend Janelle alive. Uh, because we talk about like about work and stuff and we send Snapchats. And unless you're going to start sending Snapchats to her, she needs friend Janelle alive. He just is ignoring that. <laughs> <laughs> he just turned back to what he was watching on YouTube. It's probably a good good choice. Uh, wait, I'm just looking at this, like, what she can do. Okay. Oh, she can bob shave, but she only has so many things. Stuff like that. This is probably the best. This is why it's the best. They have to be loving about. Oh no, but she did that thing to herself. Okay, she's gonna just use her staff because I don't know. Oh no, she has this astral bow. I forgot. I gave her a thing. She has Wombo. Uh, so she calls her her astral bow. Yeah, so she's back a little bit. She summons her astral bow. She, she, fourteen, uh, plus three. That that hits. That is like a thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh no, it's three plus three on the hit. Okay. I gotta do this wombo up here though. So I don't know where she goes. One D eight. She does one D eight plus three damage. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's great. And uh I think she can okay. Oh, I'm gonna call it psychic damage. Okay, now choose to activate Speed dart after your range hit hits. This is functionally similar to Helen's Nightmare, but it is and therefore only at least once per turn. I don't know what that means. Treats only the edge of resistance. Speed dart into a psionic lance. Should you hit all psychic damage dealt by the attack is automatically maximized. Oh, so I'm gonna say that it's like she rolled an eight. So minus another one, one, two. So 
Okay, that was her turn. Sorry that took so long. And then it's the Harpy's turn. And the Harpy just dropped her pen. I thought the Harpy had a club, not a pen. <laughs> <laughs> you love me <laughs> oh yeah I do love you um, oh yeah she's like um, this, this girl just did a lot of damage to me so she's gonna go over here which means you get an attack of opportunity you're on mute Darn it. <laughs> um, yes. Um, she's too, well, she would be, can I use my pistol? What? Where is it? What do I attack with? Oh, it? um, it would be the melee. It was, it's just like as she's leaving your melee range. So oh, okay. Of... Um, so just like an unarmed Well, like your sword or something. Yeah, um Yeah, we we'll use the short sword. Eleven? Uh no, sorry, ten. Oh I know that misses. Yeah, okay. Alright, so Harpy goes to hit her. It's a uh, eight. 9, 10, 11. The first one doesn't hit. And... Oh! A 5! The second one doesn't hit. She's just so, like, flummoxed. She misses. Both of her attacks. And it's Kaifira's turn. Okay, I am going to... Move up next to the harpy. I'm going to attack with a dagger. Twenty-two. That hits. Three points of damage. Um, I'm going to use my action surge and also attack with a dagger. Okay. Not going to attack with a dagger. Um, I'm going to use my bonus action so I can do a dagger. <laughs> I rolled a four, so that definitely would have, wouldn't have yeah. hit. Um, my boat, the third dagger, 23 to hit. Yep. Four damage. All right. It's, uh, Falorin's turn, and she, uh, she can't use her distancy thing, though, no. She's gonna use her quarter staff, so that's what she's got. Oh no, she misses by second time. Uh yep, that's her turn. So now it's the harpy who's like, ugh. Oh, eleven plus Oh, three still doesn't hit her. But the sixteen does, so that's the club attack. One, two, three. One, so it's like minus five. Okay, and it's uh, okay, Fira's turn. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to. I'm going to attack her with the short sword. Alright. Natural 20. Alright, that, that definitely hits. Five damage. Alright. Oh. 
And then for a bonus action, I will attack with a dagger. All right. An unnatural 20. Okay. Whoops. Four damage. All right. Uh, Florin is going to try... staff again because that seems like the best 11 uh that one hits oh the harpy is looking really rough and it goes to hit florin because it's just mad now it's just like what the heck but misses because of her bark skin. So it's your turn. I'm going to attack with my short sword again. All right. Thirteen. Thirteen hits. Four damage. Oh, the harpy's dead. Woo! It goes... Is there anything you need from a harpy? I need a harpy tongue. <laughs> I'd like to harvest a harpy tongue, please. I believe that's like a... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hold on. But I just I don't <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh a nature check. Nature check? Mm-hmm. Twelve. Okay, yeah, you managed to get it out. I mean, it's not the prettiest, but but you do it. Yay! So you got yourself um, a harpy tongue. Um, yeah. Know of any harpy or hags in the area? I, I don't. I don't know of any hags. No. <laughs> um, okay, maybe we'll find some somewhere somewhere along the way. Gosh. I know that sounds like an odd shopping list of things, but, you know, enchanting. I mean, it definitely happens. So, um, yeah, y'all get to walk back and, uh, with your harpy tongue, and, um, that's my, that's my mini play test for the night. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I figure, I think she's gotta, it's not that she's bad, I just gotta give her some better, I gotta choose better spells. Right. I mean, we could only spend one more day in a pit bull and it's a... Or even, like, that first night out, like, whatever the next long rest is. Because even with her not fighty spells, like, you know, 
We didn't die. No, and she's got some cool stuff. I just gotta figure it out. Like, and some of the stuff I didn't, I guess I didn't technically use. Oh no, some she probably can't use. I gotta read up on her thing again. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting, interesting subclassy thing. Um, yeah, so now I just need the two pounds of hag bones, the rest of the crushed diamond. So I, right now I only have 13 gold pieces worth of crushed diamond. Oh, right. I do have, I have 34, um, like, gold pieces worth of diamonds, but I need, need them crushed. Right. And then I need to get the remaining whatever amount. The hag bones. Yeah. And then two pounds of hag bones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which again, odd shopping list, but, you know, whatever. Right. God, could be worse. That it could. <laughs> but again, we should totally mess with Isaac next weekend. And just be like, Isaac, you're stuck in a spot and no one you know is around. It's very confusing. <laughs> and this random character walks up to you. We, right. we definitely need to do that for like a good 10 minutes just to <laughs> screw with him. And then be like, alright, no, we're just kidding. Right? <laughs> just be like, we could, they could come up to him in the bar and be like, hey, um, what are you doing? My name's Susie Q. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think it would be really All right. hysterical. Let's definitely do that. I'm trying to I think to... next weekend. Or whatever we next play, yeah. I have to come up with a character. Yes. That's fair. Uh, yeah. That's what I got. Okay. It's a good thing. Almost said he didn't come because I only half prepared anyway, so. <laughs> this was lovely. I mean, if this was half prepared, this wasn't 